This is Roberto Reed here uh, for the 10K Karate Clash. I'm here with Kate Karvachinsky, is that That's correct? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Phew. Um, Kate, firstly, thank you for taking the time to no speak problem. to us. Um, obviously, we want to speak to you about your entry to the inaugural Women's Super 8. You know, it's, it's, it's a competition that had been muted and uh, rumoured to be taking place for a while now. I know Joe and the guys at 10K have been actively um, preparing for the announcement. And firstly, how happy was you to hear that first there was going to be something for the ladies and or secondly that you were an entrant? Yeah, absolutely delighted. I mean, obviously we all heard rumours, yeah. but the 10K has always been a men's only event. So it's been fantastic. And I mean, the coverage they get from it is superb really. So to hear that women can be involved as well, I know it's only maybe a little part at the moment, but it's just fantastic for us to be able to get, you know, that exposure, that coverage, that ability to fight on that kind of setup is just going to be fantastic. And, you know, as one of the first entrants to the, the inaugural event, how did it feel in terms of the hard work that you put in as a karateka to be invited to uh, compete in the event? Oh, yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's top eight, so yeah. to be involved in that is just fantastic. I mean, I'm... Um, top 20 at the moment I'm highest ranked female in the whole of Great Britain and yeah. um, so to go into it you know I'm feeling really positive I'm ready to have some good fights you know see what happens on the night but um, ready to train hard for it I've got a lot of competitions building up to it as well so but yeah I'm really excited and you just mentioned uh, you've just kind of touched upon my next question you know as the highest ranked female competitor in the yeah. competition do you feel any added pressure in terms of a lot of people are going to expect you to do well if not win well, I'm hoping the expectations there, you know, it's quite a nice feeling going in thinking you're backed, but um, no, I'm just going to go and enjoy it like I have been. I'm just, I enjoy competing. I love being on the map, win, lose or draw. I love it out there. So uh, I'm going for the win. We'll see what happens on the night, but um, really excited. Really and excited. in terms of your profile and continuing to raise your profile, what impact do you think competing in the, the Women's Super 8 will have? Oh, I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, you've got top class fighters there. Most of them are my teammates and have been for a good long while. So to be sharing the same mat as them is going to be amazing. I've got great respect for all of them. Um, and hopefully it's just going to be a great night. We'll all get you know, a lot of coverage from it um, and people can see what, what the ladies can do. And you know, a lot of fans of the sport and a lot of the competitors have kind of spoken about the difference between male competition and female competitions in terms of what some people think are surprisingly how aggressive that <laughs> women can be. Yeah. Do you think that what kind of separates uh, women's competition from male, men's competition sometimes, that the aggression that the women can display? I think itself? so. I think, uh, you know, men obviously get into some yeah. nasty scraps sometimes, but I think females, I think other people have touched on it before, but yeah. our emotions get involved sometimes. Um, and, you know, it can get quite heated as well. So I think it's going to be, there's going to be some exciting fights, mm -hmm. I think. Exciting and, um, uh, in terms of future progression of the competition, where would you like to see the, the Women's Super 8 progress? You know, or would you like to see it progress potentially into free and it's a 10K for women? For example? I think that would be the main aim, of course. Yeah. But, um, you know, at the moment, this is fantastic. And I think it's great to be on the same night as the men as well, mm. uh, to be able to share the experience with them, to be able to see how they fight. Um, we all bounce off each other, you know, so the atmosphere is going to be great for men and women. So uh, I think it's, it's a great starting point if it can get better, you know, in, in days to come, if we can get our own night maybe or more prize money. Of course, we don't want that. But to start off with, it's, it's fantastic just to get this exposure. Brilliant. And uh, what have you heard in terms of uh, what the atmosphere is like uh, for a competitor yeah. in terms of a lot of men have discussed the, the, the feelings uh, backstage in yeah. the, the, the warm up area, etc. etc. Yeah. What have you kind of been told to expect in yeah, terms so of I the fresh cooking? I've been on the circuit for quite a while now, um, been in my good share of finals, especially last year. Um, and I've heard that it, you know, it's even better than any of those competitions. Yeah. Um, I think Joe has, does a fantastic job, mm. of, you know, making the athletes feel like it's something really special, setting it all up. So uh, I, I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. And finally, um, I've asked all the women I've interviewed so far regarding this question. If you could give a mission statement or tell fans what they can expect from you. Uh, in, in the, the, the Women's Super 8, what would that mission statement be? I'm in it to win it. Beautiful. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.